Hello, it's that back to school time again, and last year I uploaded a video on how to decorate your notebooks and folders. You guys seem to really like it, so this year I wanted to do a new one and show you even more ways you can decorate your notebooks and folders. First, I'll show you how to make a chalkboard insert for your binder. I'm using a binder with a clear pocket on the front so that it protects the chalk from rubbing off. For the insert, I'm using a thin piece of cardboard which you can easily recycle from food boxes. I'm using a cereal box here. Estimate the size that will fit into the cover and then cut it out. Then I'm using black chalkboard paint and a sponge brush to paint the cover. I'm going to apply two coats of this and then let it cure for 24 hours. After it's dry, I'm going to season it with a piece of chalk. This is basically just covering the entire surface with chalk in both directions and then rubbing it off with a dry paper towel. Now the chalkboard is ready to use. You can of course use traditional chalk for this, but this time I'm using chalk markers. The chalk ink doesn't rub off as easily, but I think that works well for the binder so it's not rubbing off on the clear sleeve. I think this works great for reminders or notes, and if you need to wipe it away, just use a damp paper towel. If you notice any ghosting of the past ink, just use the regular chalk again to season the cover. You don't have to stick to just writing notes. Go ahead and have fun and draw whatever you want on your cover. Another way to decorate your notebooks or folders is with a houndstooth pattern. I'm going to make this with a stamp which I already made and if you want to learn how to make this stamp, check out this video here or if you prefer, you can also learn how to draw this pattern on the cover. I'm using black pigment ink and just stamping rows and rows of the design until it forms a complete cover of houndstooth pattern. When I saw this plain black folder, I thought I have to paint a galaxy on the cover. So yes, I'm going to paint another galaxy. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to paint a galaxy, go ahead and check out this video here, and it will go into full detail of how you can achieve this effect. I'm using the same supplies as I used in the video, and you can of course use any choice of paint you would like, and sponge brushes also work for this. Once I'm happy with the colors, I'm going to put the folder on top of scrap paper, which will prepare me for this next messy part, which is to flick white paint onto the cover to make the stars. After that finishing touch, I'm going to let it dry. If you want to take an extra step and prevent the ink or paint from rubbing off, you can spray them with a clear sealer, and I will put the one that I've been using in the description below. Another design you can try is adding a fun mustache cutout on your cover. I'm going to draw a simple handlebar mustache, and if you need some ideas on other types of mustaches you can draw, check out this video here which shows you some different types of mustaches that are easy and fun to draw. Then I'm going to put the folder on top of a cutting mat and carefully cut out the mustache using an X-Acto blade. and erase any pencil marks that are left over. This adds a fun element to the cover, and when you switch out the papers behind it, you will always have a unique pattern inside the mustache. One more thing you can try is adding a ribbon closure. I always kept a lot more paper in my folder than it could hold. So if you're like me, this works great because it will keep your folder closed. The ribbon I'm using is three millimeters wide, but this can work with any size. I placed the ruler in the middle of the folder and made four marks that are two inches apart, but the measurements can be changed, they are totally up to you. Then on the marks, you want to cut through both covers, cutting out a diamond shape that is about the width of your ribbon. You're welcome to make the holes any shape you want, but I found that this shape helps prevent the ribbon from tearing the cover. Now weave the ribbon through the holes. all the way around to the back cover. Then trim the end and you can tie a bow to keep the folder closed. 
If you want to decorate your ribbon as well, check out this video here, which includes a really easy stamp technique. These decoration ideas can definitely add some personality to plain covers. If you want even more ideas of design elements you can add to your school supplies, check out this DIY print patterns playlist. There's a lot of inspiration in there and each video will show you how to make the design. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to share any photos with me, I'd love to see them. If you're sharing on Instagram, go ahead and put the hashtag SeaLemon on your photos. If you want to share on any of my other social sites, go ahead and check those out right here. For more DIY projects, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel, Sea Lemon. For more back to school tutorials, check out this back to school playlist right here. It has a lot of videos in there. Or check out the other video for some DIY chalkboard notebooks inspired by the Faulkner Stars. If you can't click on the annotations, just click on the video description below to find a list of all of these links and more information. I'm curious, what do you guys look forward to when you go back to school? Let me know in the comments below.